WBAL TV 11 weather forecast with meteorologist Tony Pan. Well, the big weather news today is that the eighth tropical depression of the season has developed off the mid Atlantic coast. It's not a tropical storm yet, but it is going to come close to parts of the mid Atlantic coast. And we'll show you the latest forecast track from the Hurricane Center moment. First, let's take a look at this on the satellite. It's not very well organized. The center of circulation is actually behind that big mass of thunderstorms that you see there. And when the center of circulation is not underneath the thunderstorms, a lot of times it has a hard time getting developed. Right now, the sustained winds are only 35. It has to get up to 40 to become a tropical storm. If it becomes a tropical storm, its name would be Hermine. That's the H storm on the list. Here's the latest forecast track from the Hurricane Center. Takes it up close to the Carolina coast on Tuesday, then recurves it out to sea as a strong cold front comes through the Baltimore area. So this is a good thing that we're going to change the weather here in Baltimore with a front coming through during the middle of the week. Not only is it going to cool it off here in the local area, but it's going to keep that storm offshore. So if you have plans to go to the beach over the next couple of days, anywhere south of Virginia Beach, I think you have to worry about that storm, but the Delmarva beaches should be okay. But we'll keep you updated, let you know if anything changes. Around Baltimore, there's nothing going on. We got some thunderstorms up in Pennsylvania again, and they should stay north of us, at least in the short term over the next 12 hours. Uh, we just have some high thin clouds out there right now. And the temperatures are in the mid 80s. Uh, we topped out at 88, like I said at the top of the show this afternoon. That's above average. The normal high is now 84, 83. 86 at the airport. It's 84 in Randallstown. It's 88 in Tawnytown. And those dew points are going to start to come up a little bit during the day tomorrow. The weather's going to change Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. It's going to become more humid and the chance for some thunderstorms will come back into the picture. But right now, high pressure is close enough to keep all that activity away. But this weak little front right up here in northwest Pennsylvania is going to drift through on Monday and Tuesday. So by that time, we're going to put a, at least a 30% chance in for some showers or thunderstorms. And then a stronger front's going to come through Wednesday night and Thursday. And that's really going to change the weather. It's going to kick that storm off the coast. And they're going to produce a big dip in the jet stream. And it's almost going to feel like autumn as we head into the beginning of Labor Day weekend. You'll see that in our seven day. Clear to partly cloudy tonight, fairly comfortable. Temperatures drop back into the upper 60s to around 70. During the day tomorrow, mix of sun and clouds, warm, humid, a 30% chance for an afternoon thunderstorm. The high temperatures between 87 and 92. Seven day forecast, some scattered thunderstorms are possible on Tuesday as well. Best chance for rain will be Wednesday night and Thursday as that front comes through. And that's really gonna knock the temperatures back, but we'll see plenty of sunshine. It's looking great going into the beginning of Labor Day weekend. Sunshine Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Highs in the upper 70s to around 80.